You said that you've been lonely. Makes that you round one side. Yeah, that one has to be. Ended up being abandoned for like a How do you get to know me? The better than the lies. Hola, I'm Tony here. Happy, happy new year. As you can tell, we are in a new location because baby girl, we moved. <laughs> We are in a totally new space and I'm so excited for this new journey that we literally just started. I am excited to see where it goes but um, towards the end of last year a lot of things happened and in all that shit happening I had to move and so I did and you know me and new beginnings we are kin. <laughs> So we are starting over again. We are in a fresh new space. We're not renovating this one. This one is a plug and play. And it's been quite a journey, honestly, from like the end of last year. There was a lot of chaos, a lot of emotional hurt, traumatic events. Um, yeah, the last, the I would just say the last half of 2023 was like madness on steroids it's like it's like the devil was paid by another devil to just you know like that story in the bible where it's like that he god gives the devil a chance to torment job yeah like that's how the last half or the second half of 2023 was about and especially like the final months like the last three months yo 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 but it don't matter because what I know how to do, one thing I'm really good at is I really know how to get back up and dust myself off and figure things out and keep it moving. And that's exactly what we are doing. That's exactly why we are here because we are dusting ourselves off and we are keeping it moving so welcome to the new house i'm about to give you a house tour so you can check out the new space because i really really like it um i think it's it's very it's gorgeous it's very quaint it's very it's been a peaceful space um safe because your safety has been a big um issue so feeling safe especially has been like a big issue but now like i feel safe i am um, in a shared compound so there's two houses i have a neighbor everyone's just you know we just keep to ourselves um the landlady doesn't live too far off she's in the next compound she's been very gracious and generous um she told me she's gonna give me a potion to do my ukulima thingies so we're going to have our garden uh, a kitchen garden that doesn't maybe probably herbs and greens and stuff like that so i'm excited to see where this new journey is going to take us. Um, I'm excited for the new beginning for me and the cats. The cats have been settling in really, really nicely. Um, it was also a traumatizing shift for the cats, especially for Ziggy, because Ziggy ended up being abandoned for like a whole week without food. Like when I tell you it was a traumatizing experience, a whole week without food, without me, without his friends and no access to the outside world and i'm sure he was so confused because he had no idea what was going on because a lot of things happened in a very short span of time like in one day my life was flipped upside down in one day in a single day um i think I, I, it sounds dramatic when i say it but like in that one day i was rendered homeless <laughs> um it was just there was a lot of insanity maybe one day i'm still working through the emotions of it and everything because um i don't think i've actually had time to process what happened because after that it was just like okay cool what next okay cool what next okay cool what next um so i've been on go 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 since then and i'm hoping that now i'm going to be able to sit down and be like cool so that happened and with the help of a professional, I think that would be best to just be able to dissect everything that happened, the emotions that I dealt with, because there was a lot of dark, uh, there was a lot of darkness around me, and even in the darkness, I felt so alone. I felt like I was fighting battles by myself. I was fighting so many battles, and 
I, I've, I learned so much. I do not regret taking on that project. I really enjoyed myself. I enjoyed the work that I created in there. And you know what? Sometimes um, it gets to a point and you don't get to complete certain things and you just start a new journey. And I'm very okay with that. There's a lot of things in my life that I thought were going to be forever and they weren't, including people. So I am excited for the new adventure, excited for the new ride. We see where it's going to go, but I'm, I'm very hopeful. I'm, I have very good vibes and good feelings about this year. Okay, time for a house tour. So I figured I would start you off from outside the house. Out here, the first thing you see is we have the main door and um, glass and metal, just the way I love it. On this side, it's the back door and where I've stored my things for now until they move. And then what I see, that's the view from the front of the house. So uh, let's go in. And then we have like this cemented bits and there's a shamba that's my neighbor's shamba the house is behind mine and then the katsauko if you squint over here somewhere there you can see ginger and then there's a shamba here where i was told i'll be given a potion to do my farming business my farming careers um so this one it's my neighbor who farms here so let's go inside can you see me hello <laughs> You know how I feel about glass and metal, so I really, really love the doors. When you walk in, the first thing you see is this section. So we have the door and then there's this, it's like, what is it called? A foyer, foyer, a lounge, whatever you want to call it. Um, and here is where I've set up my office. So this is where I've been working from. I put this bench over here, the bench I used to have in the closet, in the bedroom. It's been many places. My office desk. My office chair i was trying to sync some sound thingies and this one has the app for it but it's so slow um and I'm, i've also been transferring stuff because i need to give it back to the owner since we upgraded to this little guy very very fast over here onto my right this is where i've decided to store my shoes for now until we decide what happens but i think i would want to have a proper shoe rack over here these are the um, the things that I had used for the fireplace cabinet. So two of them are here, the other one's inside. I'm going to show you where. So they've been serving me for this purpose right now. They're holding my shoes and my extra work thingies. Um, so I use these things in the morning. So I place them there for the rest of the day because I use them every morning. And when we're in here, it's that same view that I just showed you. You know. So it's a pretty, pretty thing to look at. It's a pretty view for when you're working. And the cats have been enjoying themselves now. Ziggy has gone outside. The other cats are already outside. The cats are really thriving here. Hey, Ziggy. Hi. How are... Okay. So. Hold on. Let me open. So I usually leave this window open for them. Um, because then they can just come in even when the door is locked. You see, this is the same part we saw from outside. But we're going to see it from inside <laughs> from the back <laughs> well once we get to that part so let's keep our tour going then when you open the second door now it leads you into the house and inside when you come to the right we have an open kitchen which i love um i think as someone who lives alone i do enjoy myself an open kitchen as opposed to a closed one then we have the bar stools then to the left, we have the living room and I am yet to buy a sofa. Um, the other sofa that I was using is going to my brother. Um, he wanted it because I, I wanted to change the sofa altogether. So right now I'm using the one that I had made, the lounge chair that I'd made in the bedroom because I don't have space for it in there anyway. And the pallet so that I'm able to like lay down and extend when I'm watching movies and TV shows. And our red seat is over here in case we have a guest. We don't really have guests. Then my TV thingy, the thing I was using as a TV stand broke. So now I'm using yet another makeshift thing. This used to be the bar. Then it became a place to store my clothes. And now it's storing my books and holding my TV up. So we have that. I have this mirror here, not by design. This mirror is here because when I'm recording stuff on my phone, because I use the back camera, I put and the gimbal. When I put this down, I use 
that mirror to see what the camera is seeing when I'm recording myself because my vlogging camera died again and now I don't think I would want to try and fix it I'll just buy a new camera altogether so we're using my phone in the meantime and you can tell the quality is really dope this is a fan that was gifted to me as a birthday present um, someone had traveled to Bali and they brought me this huge fan and I really love it so I've been putting it there and then it kind of um, works with the light especially at night because um, I have the standing lamp here so the place doesn't look weird I don't like this paint at all like what's what, what's going on here like it's Confucius and it's this this and this side as well it's the same thing can you see it's like a brown and then next to it we have the landlord paint so this entire room is going to become white because no so you can tell like this push ones even here where they couldn't tell that the paints were different but like you can really you can see the difference there so this is all turning white from there we get into the hallway that leads to the rooms and well to all the other doors kitchen so we'll start with the hallway itself <laughs> and my shadow is with me hi Ziggy are you okay good boy so the third one the third shelf I put it here it's been holding my skincare I still have all the mirrors the colored mirrors that I made uh, we removed them so that it would be easier to transport um, the shelves so this is where I have my skincare, makeup, hair products because I don't have space in the bathroom for that. Then we have a sink here. My intention is to put a mirror here. That way all this makes sense because then, yeah. Then into the hallway, we get to the bathroom, the shower, bathroom, toilet. Um, so this is, Ziggy is, I wish Ziggy could speak. Ziggy would give us a tour. So very simple, um, nothing much, a lot of blue. <laughs> A lot of blue but that's what that looks like I've not really done anything there other than just have my things when I'm using them then we have our secondary bedroom which is going to serve as our podcasting space and walking closet not walking closet what is it called storage closet it's also going to be where I, I do my makeup yeah so I intend to set up a table in here for my makeup um, that way I can be doing my makeup from in here then in the closet spaces themselves. I have a lot of storage um, So I have my notebooks. I'm still sorting things out. So a lot of things are being stored away at the moment uh, but I've I have removed them because they were in gunias and bags and boxes and containers like this like this so i've really been just um decluttering and removing a lot of stuff this is going to go away because i do not intend on having a bed here so i'm not going to actually have a guest room in this house it's going to just be workspace and my bedroom then on this side we have the master bedroom this is where i sleep this room is just slightly slightly bigger than the other one um initially i wanted the bed to be across like this but when it was like that we couldn't open the closet doors so um after the guys who moved me in had left i, I had asked them to try and put it this way because i had measured and figured that it would like the longest parts fit on, across that wall perfectly and then they were like oh because it had already been attached together it couldn't turn and i was like oh crap okay so we'll figure things out i went to the shops i came back my sister and my mom because they're strong african women we don't like that thingy but they did it they did the thing what they did is they turned the bed for me so when i came back they had actually turned it this way which leaves me with a lot of space over here next to the mirror and the closet doors open and um drawers down here that store other things and then behind the door over here, I put one of my side tables. Initially, I wanted to put my Ashura rack over here and then, or the bags. And then I was like, wait, what if we actually have a side table? Because then with the bed taking up all the space, I don't have a side table per se. So I was like, at first I'd thought of changing the bed. 
but the thing is i'm attached i'm not attached to the bed i'm attached to the mattress the thought of having to go find the same kind of mattress but in a smaller size ah uh, i'm attached let me tell you this was this was the first mattress i slept on and i felt like i was like oh wow I think whoever made mattresses had this in mind when they came up with mattresses. So I was like, oh, I love it. And I've been attached to this mattress ever since. <laughs> so I had thought, I was like, okay, do I want to change the bed? And I was like, that would mean changing the mattress. Do I want to? And I was just like, no, I'm keeping it. So this room is just slightly, slightly like on a, on a minimum, minimum, minimum. Um, so just slightly bigger than the other one. But I love it because it serves, it serves the purpose it needs, it's, it needs to serve. Hi Ziggy, are we okay? We're, we're still on the tour? Yeah. Uh, it serves the purpose it needs to serve because this room is basically for sleeping. Um, sleeping, storing my clothes. How much time do I spend in the bedroom anyway, if I'm being honest? And now, like with my changed work schedules and everything, like and my routines, I'm hardly ever in here. I come here at night, I sleep, I wake up in the morning, have the rest of my day, and then that's it. And then having this mirror here, one, I love it. This is where I come. I lotion myself while looking at myself in the mirror, and it looks so good. And be ready to see a lot more of such outfits. These are going to be my at-home outfits when I'm relaxing in the house. Um, mostly going to be tights and crop tops. Yeah, as we're manifesting uh, a, nini, a tighter but <laughs> uh, just a lift. So just something small, nothing big. Works very, very well. And now let me take you to the kitchen. Then we can go outside. Look at our tour guide. Uh -huh. We're going to the kitchen. See we go. This way. Let's go. <laughs> Let me tell you, this cat follows me everywhere. Yeah, it's like my. Oh, you want food? I. So now we are in the kitchen. The kitchen is not huge, but like I really don't care. It serves me. Um, I have my storage. I have a lot of storage. I'm excited to actually have storage. It's been a while since I've had storage like in a kitchen. So I'm excited to have storage, um, especially like, you know, to be able to put things away and they're not in your face. They're not seen. Um, that has to be one of like the bestest things. And then we go to the back. So um, in here on this side, uh, this was just open space. And then I was like, oh, so since we don't have a pantry, how about we sort of set up our own version of what a pantry would look like the cleaning supplies will be going outside as soon as i set up outside you'll see what i mean when i go outside but yeah and then i'm getting a smaller fridge that i want to come here the one that i saw i measured and it would fit in here perfectly i also want to change this kettle there's a kettle that i saw that i really like but anyway we'll do all those things in due time for now that serves as our pantry and i love that my jars are so aesthetically pleasing because they look so cute in here and once they're all like filled up with their two small small whatnots because i've been throwing out things that i didn't need um have expired or have stayed too long when being used and then the rest have been used so we're doing great we are doing great so then the base is going to now hold things like vegetables my waru's um because we have like this basket that we like to use for storing thingies so we can use the baskets and have them down here um and our tour guide is still <laughs> with us we have a double sink i love me a double sink or a dip i really love a double sink or a dip sink and this is a double sink so i really like it and then the way this area is set up this one's high it's like on the higher side but it works either way a lot of water doesn't pour down and i'm cleaning so that's good then on this side i've decided to just have my oils like cooking oils and vinegars and soy sauces and other sauces are on this side my cooking utensils and knives so then this space isn't wasted then on this side, I've set up the microwave. And what I like about this side is 
from here it's covered so you don't see anything because we have all this we have a wall so yeah we've set up this i've set it low i used like the tiny table i was using in the living room for now and then the cat water the cat's water just next to it and then they get to eat their food so what i, I liked about the spaces is i could set up their plates so they eat this two there and the third one is here then when we go outside we have all this space okay so nice and bright so we have all this and then that's the back gate that i showed you from the front i am yet to set up the washing machine but it's here this is where i've been doing my cleaning from so i've covered it with the paper because it's been raining to keep it safe but i've been doing that because there's a tap set up over here and the pressure is really good but the landlady said that they'll get me a tap from over here because i want to set it up over here which is where we currently have all the stuff that didn't make it into the house or that was carried as just excess thing is there's so many things that yeah so we have like the dining stuff like the dining chairs and stuff on the table these ones are going to be set up in the podcasting room um because we will use the table as the podcasting table i'm going to do a different top because actually the top for this table the glass top for this table broke and not in transportation it broke when it was being picked so i think it got a crack somewhere and then um so we have the rest of the tools extra seats all this so this is the only place that i'm yet to sort out uh the cats have really been thriving here like they're enjoying themselves Thinky. They really enjoy themselves and then we're back so this so i can either come in through the back or the front depends on how many padlocks i want to open um i really like the house i think the house is very very pretty the first time i saw it um i had not even gotten into the house when i was outside i saw that outside area and i was just like yeah i think i think this will be the one so after walking inside it i was like you know what we can make this work i think we can really make it work and i like that it doesn't require any work other than of course painting um i am not that against like the paints in the rooms like that bluish gray grayish blue which one is it yeah it's a grayish blue um it has cool undertones so i don't mind it and then, but the living room oof, that brown kwanzaa mm -mm, that one has to go so we're going to do like a nice brilliant white paint in there i am i've been enjoying myself settling in the cats are thriving they're enjoying themselves they do get in fights with some stray cats that kind kind of come here looking for food especially because those cats have been so audacious they've been jumping in through the window to come eat their food so i feel like it's a feels like a gang war right now <laughs> feels like a gang war but that's basically what the house looks like but, um stick around there's gonna be a lot more uh happening this year i am excited to see how this house challenges me because this house has rules and um, this is the first time I've lived in a house that has rules, you know, like you're not allowed to do this, you're not allowed to do that. Because even like changing this wall color to white, I had to have like a proper conversation <laughs> with the landlady. I was like, I said I would want to change the entire house and she was like, okay, so I was like, okay, at least she's open to that. Um, but like she's, you know, I think it's that space where you don't hang things on the wall, you don't do this, you don't do that. So the journey of making this house cozy and comfortable and still speaking to who i am is going to be a bit different than you know like taking down walls and putting things up on walls and attaching and building cabinets into the walls so this is going to be a very different pace so if you are curious to see how we are going to turn this house into a cozy home that has all those vibes you know stick around for the journey stick Stick around like i think this is a space that we're all going to thrive um we feel very safe here um i'm not like too removed i'm still like in gishagi basically it's a nushago i'm no longer in limuru i'm now in kikuyu i'm still like it's still um a gishagi setup but there's access to a lot more stuff in terms of like hey we have garbage collection um <laughs> we have like ground keepers uh groundskeepers or you know gardeners who they trim the hedges and they lima the shambas and they there's all 
let me tell you <laughs> it's exciting i am in an uber um uber efficient uber ball uber <laughs> we have been making making up words it's an uber space where like i can get on uber from here i can get an uber back here there's a day when i went to my sisters to pick up the cats and it was midnight and i was able to get an uber all the way here and the driver the driver did not did not do those things for Ay, madam, nope none of that the, there's that convenience but still there's the aspect of being removed from the city which is what i love like still having the space and you know all that just um so yeah thank you so much for checking out this video Ow. um we are changing up the schedule we're changing up the schedule on how the content is created for um how i post so i'll be posting vlogs every sunday i want us to wrap the week together and just to be enjoying our weekends like the end of the week together so um new vlogs will be dropping every sunday at 6 p.m and then um we are going to figure out what happens with the makeover content but also that's changing i'm restructuring how that content is not only filmed but how i share it so that is a work in progress so for now it's just going to be us settling in vlogs weekly vlogs and then once everything is ready to roll out when it comes to the makeover content of course i'm going to let you know don't forget to subscribe follow me on socials i am with on on all platforms don't forget to check out the podcast just doing life the podcast and at jdl the podcast on socials that's mostly instagram and tiktok on youtube on instagram and tiktok on twitter you can use it as a hashtag which is hashtag jdl the podcast in case you want to share anything with moi Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you are interested to see how we'll be settling in and how like life has changed um, after moving into this new space and how life is changing every single day because I have new routines, um, which I'm loving, by the way. 2024 is going to be full of a lot of new, a lot of new beginnings, a lot of exciting stuff always the sun i'm just trying to get the sun on my face okay <laughs> 2024 is going to be full of new journeys i'm so excited to do a lot more solo dating oh i'm really excited for that i am planning out like dates elaborately like the first one the first date of the year is on friday and i'm already trying to think of like what i want to eat what do i want to wear when i'm getting ready like all that cool jazz so a lot of new content is coming your way exciting content new adventures um the vlogs are going to be packed it's not going to be the usual we'll be doing a lot more socializing i think that's the one thing i'm really looking forward to i want to socialize a lot more uh, i want to create a lot more i want to share my creativity a lot more so i'm really really excited to see where this journey goes okay don't forget to subscribe like share leave a cute comment and i'll see you back here on sunday with another vlog bye awesome rest of the week oh happy new week because you start a new week tomorrow so yay and i hope you enjoyed your week